Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. Uh, in this video, we're gonna be covering the GIMP image editor. I don't think I need to explain this image editor because it's the most famous alternative to proprietary tools like Photoshop and all of that. In this video in particular, we're gonna be covering the two universal ways, ways of installing it. And the reason for that is because while I could go over how to install it on Arch Linux, which is what I use, it makes much more sense to talk about installing it on Flatpak and Snap Packages because everybody can run Flatpaks and Snap Packages. So if you're watching this video, you're not going to feel left out. So let's start off with the snaps. So if you want to get GIMP for Snap, all you got to do is do sudo, or first you should do snap, find, and then GIMP because there are multiple snaps of GIMP. And uh, I don't know exactly if it's just the GIMP package because, you know, that's just how it is. You should definitely do a search. And then once you find the package you need, you can highlight that and do the install command. So here we go. I guess I was wrong. There's only one version and it's the main version. So if we want to install it under snap, we can do sudo snap install GIMP. And then we enter our password, let that snap go. It'll install the prerequisites that it needs and it'll get it going. It's going to take a little bit of a download though, because it is GIMP. So it's got a lot of stuff to, to get going. All right, so the GIMP package is now installed for Snap. So if we go open up our application menu, we can type in GIMP. We can see that I have the version that I use on Arch, and I also have the Snap version. And if I click Show Details, I can show you that, yes, this is indeed the Snap version. If the GNOME software app decides to work, which it hasn't been working lately. But the point is, is that it's installed, and you can open it up by launching the application through the menu. So that's how you get the GIMP snap version installed. Let's talk about the GIMP flat pack version as soon as this loads up. And actually, I really like that they put GIMP in the universal packaging format areas because like, I think that enables even people who build their distributions completely from scratch, they will have the ability to use a pretty great image editor. So let's talk about flat pack. So if you get the software, application, open up, uh, open it up on GNOME. You can go up here and you can type in GIMP. Now it's going to show up as the one that we use for the source. Sorry. It's going to show up for the one that we have through the main distribution as well as the snap one, but it'll also have the flat hub one, which you can see right here. And you can click install if you want to use GNOME software, or you can go over here. You can do flat, pack search GIMP and then you can go ahead and copy this here and uh, do sudo flat pack install flat hub GIMP tack Y enter your password and let it download and install as always when I talk about installing applications that have flat pack or snap you can check out the tutorials that I wrote in the link in the link section in the video description it goes over how to set up Flatpak and Snap and all of that. So I had to rerun the installer a couple times, and this is a problem that you may run into with FlatHub. It's a server problem. I'm sure they're working on it, but if it happens, just rerun the command again. Anyways, we've got the Flatpak version of GIMP up and running. So now we can see I have three different versions of GIMP and I can edit as many images as I'd like to. And uh, if you wanted to learn how to install this program on your Linux desktop, now you know how. I hope you enjoyed my video. I know I certainly enjoy making them. And uh, I have to get going for now, and I will see you guys in the next video.